DIY or Die, Walker Vapor Group LLC, or any of its associates do not condone nor encourage the use of nicotine, vapor products, or any mood-altering substances without the explicit consent of a physician. The content viewable on this channel is strictly for entertainment purposes only and not meant to be seen as informational or educational. Must be 21 years or older to view these materials. Welcome back to another amazing episode of the Mix and Vixens. My name is Emily, also known as Mill Nikon. And please welcome my other co hosts. We've got Rin Vapes. Yo. <laughs> Yo. We've got Jen the E Juice Fairy. What's up, guys? You guys missed it. I just had a massive dry hit, and it was right before the cameras came on. So you guys missed all that? Oh, good yuck. And we have the beautiful Leilani. Hello, everybody. Good evening. Hello, welcome back. Welcome back. How was everyone's weekend? Fabulous. I love three day weekends. I still have one day to go. Nice. How was your weekend, Leilani? It was good and disappointing. I was hoping for a storm to last like all week long up till the first day of school, but it never came. <laughs> Are you so kidding? You guys didn't get hit? We all we got was a darn rain. I went to Walmart. I got like five bags of ice or, or salt. Oh, sorry, um, rock salt. Nothing ever came. It was just like raining out. You can have I, don't, I don't trust the, the weather. People don't know ish. The only thing that they know is the same thing we know when we step out the darn door. <laughs> it's going to be scared. Man, well, yeah, that was pretty bad. Yeah. Hmm. I agree with that. Yeah, they don't know nothing. You know, all these darn predictions, we were supposed to get like a foot of snow. I was supposed to buy boots, a hat. I was supposed to prepare my dogs for death because normally they play outside. I'm like, oh, it's like drizzling. Yeah. How many dogs do you have? I have two dogs, both Jack Russells. Well, one's a hybrid uh, like myself. It's a Jack Russell Cocker Spaniel mix. She's a cute little thing, annoying. She has anxiety. So I tried to uh, talk to her, but she don't listen. I tell her to calm down. She ignores me. Oh. Uh -huh. Yeah. That's, That's it. adorable, though. <laughs> I, have, I have a hybrid. I have two hybrids. No, I'm the cute. I like mice. Yeah. They're awesome. Yeah, I have a Jiwini, a Chihuahua, a uh, Dotton mix. And then the other one is a Pitbull Lab mix. Is that the puppy? Pitbull Lab? Yeah. She is so damn hyper. I want to kill her half the time. She sounds like a horse when she's running around the house. <laughs> thrum, 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 thrum. How was your weekend, Ren? What's happening? Well, we got slammed. <laughs> I knew it. I knew you would. I honestly didn't think we were because we've had a pretty mild winter, but you're like right in the snow winter. belt, aren't you? Yeah, but the forecast for this winter was supposed to be mild. And when I looked at the weather channel, it looked like we were kind of, I don't know, not going to get that much, but wrong. Ooh, you got hit though. You're up there though. You're in, you're in um, the snow land where the skies are gray for like four months. Yeah. So I've been indoors all weekend. <laughs> not weather, Emily? It was good. It was good. Um, Pretty uneventful. Didn't really do much. Just got some mixing and hitting done. How's uh, anyone mix up anything fun besides this week's profile? Yeah, I got a new flavor that I just had to try because it was on sale. I got Lotus Flower Cantaloupe. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. That's, um, that's Medicine Flower rebranded. Right? Oh my goodness, Jen. Get some water. <coughs> my throat feels dry. The dry hit is getting. <clears throat> I'll let somebody else talk. Okay, yeah, get some water. <laughs> um, 
I, I mixed up somebody's please. last week. What was that? I mixed up somebody's recipe who submitted um, one of their own, like, I guess, personal mixes on Mix and Vixens. Uh, his name's Daniel K. Boom. I think that's like a, it's like an alias. It has to be. If not, he has an awesome, he has like some awesome parents, Daniel K. Boom. <laughs> but uh, his recipe is called Anodyne's Fruit Fix E-Liquid. It's like a one, two, three recipe. And I'm like, oh, I got these three flavors. <laughs> so I can do this. Nice. I love little three simple flavor mixes. What flavors were they? Um, 2% Fuji apple, 3% uh, black currant, um, 1.5% mango, wait, hold on, 2% Fuji apple, 3% black currant, FA, 1.5% mango flavora, and then what he said in his description was that he, he never tried WS23, so he figured he would do it with this recipe. And he did it at 0.25%. Oh, and along with a little bit of super sweet capella. So Fuji apple, black currant, mango with sweetener and WS23. And I haven't tried it yet. It's been steeping for what, like almost a week and some change now. Uh -huh. What? How does it smell? Let's try it. I haven't opened it. I'm like, I'm, I, you know, I haven't tried WS23 either. So I wanted, I really wanted to try this. I'm like, what does it do? I have, I have them all. I have Polar Blast. I have WS23. I'm like, but I don't use them because I never found it like necessary, like even for ice creams. Um, yeah, WS23 to me is good, but like I only get the cooling on the inhale. It's like the exhale, I don't get anything. So a lot of times I'll, I'll layer it with Polar Blast because I find that the opposite where I don't get anything on the inhale and I get the cooling all on the exhale. Interesting. I, I'm very interested. I've only tried Is it flavors. clean, crisp coolness? Hmm. Like it's... I don't know, but it's, it smells good. It smells fruity. I, I like the mint and menthol, so I usually like to mix... I mend all with a little bit of WS23 or Polar Blast, depending on how cold I want it. Mm. So a lot of times I find myself gravitating a Polar Blast when I use menthol and WS23 when I'm making a bakery or a cream and it needs some coolness. I don't know why I do that. Can't, haven't, I don't, there's no scientific reason for it. There's just how it happens. Mm. Interesting. I can take, I don't taste, maybe, I don't know if it's a, like a, it's not mint. I don't know how to explain it. It's not it like a be, It should just be the coolness. Yeah, I can feel it when I like, when I do like that. Like a hall. <laughs> yeah, like, like exactly. That's the feel. It's like halls, but not minty. I like it. I it, shouldn't it, change, it shouldn't change the overall flavor of your mix at all. It just adds the coolness to it. Hmm, I'll vape it. I don't know. Um, Emily, did you try anybody's mixes or mix anything up interesting? I didn't, um, but I, I am working on a, when I first saw the picture, a blueberry lemon came to mind. So I'm not using that for the, for the show, but I did mix up um, a blueberry lemon kind of cream vape that I'm going to post soon because I think it's really good. <laughs> I just <laughs> did, I just couldn't decide which one I wanted. I to bet add. that's exactly what I was thinking. Well, one of my side um, recipes that I did not end up using for the show was a pomegranate blueberry mix on the candy side, uh, on the gummy candy side. And then it just, I wasn't sure about it, how it would steep out because pomegranate is one of those things that sometimes it'll take over. And sometimes I'm pretty sure that it is well balanced with the blueberry, but um I wasn't sure and I didn't, I wanted it, both of my mixes came out good so I, I turned it I'm turning in a bakery that sounds good the pomegranate blueberry mint mm -hmm. that sounds pretty pretty tasty I'll think you oh, me too I like pomegranate uh, me too it's so I think good it tastes like medicine most of the time so I'm extremely sensitive to that flavor um on the medicinal side it to me it does to me what other people describe cherry does to them Cherry does it too, but I can vape cherry before I can vape pomegranate. You so. know what's a good pomegranate that you might like that's that's not like that? Mm. I started testing it. Um, pomegranate Hylic. It's 
it's very fruity and nice. It's not too tart. It tastes very authentic. I'm starting to get into the, thank you, Bonnie, uh, uh, Juice Junkie. She's been a guest on uh, Mixing Vixens. She recommended them. I just never bothered because, you know, I was in my uh, duo May phase. I was like, I, I got my Chinese manufacturer. I don't need nobody else. Blast well, what's the company? <laughs> huh? What's the flavor company? Uh, Hylic. Oh, okay. I like, I used to say High Like You, but it's High Lick. High Lick. <laughs> A lot of people. Where uh, are they from? Where do you get them? You go to their website, High Lick, H I L I Q, I think, dot com. Oh, but, okay. Um, so they, they're not, they don't have resellers for them yet. No, not yet. Not yet. Um, I believe during Black Friday, or no, 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 it wasn't Black Friday. Was it? Or was it? Thanksgiving, I think it was Black Friday. Bonnie had posted in the Mix of Vixens group that Hylip was having a sale on flavors. One thing that I did know from like trolling on the all the forums on ELR was that people bought their rice a lot. And they were, oh, they were offering free shipping. So it had to be Thanksgiving, like a Black Friday sale, Thanksgiving, whatever. Anyway, so yeah, free shipping and everybody liked their rice. And I'm like, now is my time to start comparing rice. But one of the things is, is that they are super duper potent. They say like eight to 12% flavoring. And then on the bottles, it's weird. It'll say like three to five drops, but on their like blogs, it, anyway, but they're potent as flavor. They're just as flavorful, uh, flavorful and they're pretty accurate from the ones that I have tried. And I, I like them and they're lychee. I, I eat lychee, I eat lychee like I pop like Tic Tacs. That stuff is delicious. Their lychee, people, their lychee is authentic. I, I'm not gonna say too much, but it's really, really, really good if you like lychee. Even, fre even fresh, fresh who hates lychee would like this. Yeah, I don't like lychee. Yeah, either. there are a lot of good flavor, lychee flavors. They're all kind of, so that's interesting. Yeah. Yeah, they're all kind of floral. Uh, no, me, this I, one is I, not for floral. pomegranate. I'd rather go with the candy pomegranate. So I always look for that. Even FA has a good one, but it's too realistic for me. I w I'd rather have a candy when I use pomegranate. Mm. Rain, you mix up anything else? Um, no, not, not outside of this week's recipe. How's your cold? Oh, my cold is pretty much gone. I'm still a little congested. I don't know if it's just because of the weather or allergies. I don't really know, but yeah. Mm. Well, that's Hopefully cool. it'll I'm stay gone. Feeling... I'm glad you're feeling better, though. Yeah, I've been, like, consuming op opious is copious. <laughs> copious amounts of uh, vitamin C. Like, mm. y'all ain't gooping me again. Good. Good. Get that immune system up. Yeah. Well, they, like, keep moving us around, and, like, they moved a bunch of people around me, and then, like, ugh. The girl that left me was sick. I'm like, no, I just literally got over a sickness. <clears throat> but I don't know if I'll be going in tomorrow, considering how terrible it is. Because we can work from home. Hopefully you can work from home, because tomorrow's, what well, it's nasty in your neighborhood. Hopefully it's not, like, Hopefully your your bosses aren't D I C K S. <laughs> I just spell it, um, but yeah, I hope yeah. not because it's treacherous. Uh, tre I can't even say the word. Say it for me, Ren. Tre treacherous. treacherous. There we go. That's why I'm an art teacher. I don't speak much. I draw. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need vocabulary and and synonyms. Um, but yeah, it's supposed to be like flash ice tomorrow. Also. People in chat, are you interested in flash eyes? They're like, now get to the recipes. Yeah. <laughs> so who wants to go first? Not me. I'm on mute. I'll go. I'll go, I'll go first this time. So, like I said, when I first saw the picture, I'm thinking, okay, blue bay lemon, like duh. But I wanted to do something different. Um, and I'm normally, <clears throat> excuse me, normally not a fruits and, and candy type person but I this this the picture just spoke to me as a as a candy and so I made it and it's delicious and I actually really love it even though it's not my profile so what I did was I did blackberry lemonade or uh, blackberry pineapple 
So I use 3% super concentrated uh, blackberry, 3.5% capella golden pineapple, 2.5% inaware pineapple, and then 0.5% capella super sweet. <clears throat> Um, the golden pineapple and anywhere pineapple, that's just my go-to pineapple layer because golden pineapple gives a nice kind of um, base line kind of sweet, sweetness, sweet pineapple. And then the anywhere pineapple comes in with that punch. It comes in with that top heavy, bright um, flavor. <clears throat> and in this mix, you can't really taste the pineapple per se. It just brightens the blackberry and makes it pop. So like, I mean, it's there, but it's not like, you're not going to fit this and be like, oh, that's pineapple. It just kind of just adds to the blackberry to brighten it up because super concentrated blackberry, it's a very candied blackberry, but it's very deep and dark. So that pineapple just comes in and just brightens it up. How can how candy is the I haven't had that. How candy is it? Like um like laffy taffy type of candy? Blackberry? Um or just like with a candied edge, like a like an artificial, like those, you know, artificial, you like, like a, a candied edge. Like a really sweet jam or you know, or like maybe even a like a blackberry hard candy. Ah. But, but so it, it's pretty it's pretty artificial. Candy. Did you get any kind of grape from it? Because I actually went that route as well, except I used blueberry and blackberry and then pineapple in a couple of the mixes. And they all ended up tasting like grape, which was odd to me. Hmm. Um, hold on, I'm vaping it now. Let me vape it thinking grape. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully I don't ruin it for you. Yeah, right? Why the silence? Maybe. <clears throat> I like how your voice went high. <laughs> like you got punched in the back. Maybe it could be the blueberry that was added to. You never really know. Yeah, because this isn't very gra grapey. I mean, there's a, maybe a little bit of a, of a, I think it's just the deepness of the blackberry. It kind of gives it that, but it's not like a in your face kind of like a grape soda type thing. So I'm thinking maybe the blackberry with the blueberry with yours mix made it more pronounced. This is just a it's interesting. It's just I can't explain it. It's really good. You should mix it up. If you guys like blackberry, mix it up, man. It's delicious. And I hate I don't hate, but I don't prefer candy vapes. This is just really good. This does look good. I haven't had I don't think I've had a blue like a blackberry pineapple combination in a vape before. Right? And no, with, the, <laughs> with the, you said the pineapple just brightens up the blueberries. Now there's more pineapple than there is blueberry. So is it like pineapple dominant, even if it like enhances the blueberry? No, it's, it's blackberry dominant. It's, um, I think it's just the, the potency of the blackberry. The super concentrated blackberry it's mm -hmm. it's more definitely more blackberry okay the pineapple is just there to brighten it up and just kind of make it pop interesting but because capella pineapple is really pretty weak like if you want to use capella golden pineapple as a main flavor mm -hmm. you're gonna go like four five six maybe even six percent with it right um and then anywhere a pineapple is pretty bright but it just gets overshadowed with that blackberry that blackberry just takes over and so it's it's primarily a blackberry vape. Ooh, okay. I'm gonna try this. Mm -hmm. Please do. Let me know how you like it. Because I have all these. I believe nice. so. I believe I do. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. No, no. I don't have this SC blackberry. I have the. I have their. Darn it. I have their have, yum berry. Okay, do you have FE blackberry? I think so. Girl, I'm up to like 900 some flavors. I don't even know anymore. It's just a blur. It's one big flavorful blur. There's a theory that super concentrate and FE are the same. Where the heck did you? Where? Oh, the I'm drama. Testing. Where's my fan? Where's the drama? I've got a few, got a few flavors. When? 
that are both, I've got blueberry, orange, mango, and lemon. And so I'm in the middle of testing them. So far, the blueberry is the only thing I've tested, and it's exactly the same. Are you lying to me? Are you serious? <laughs> no, I've heard it before as well. I have heard that as well. I haven't uh, tested Dave blueberry. did the mango, and he said I heard, exactly I heard, I heard this, but I, I thought it was all rumors. Like the ones on, was it Vapor's Tech? Yes, because that's where originally SC you could get SC. Now you can get it at Bull City, but I think Vapor's Tech was a no. But I'm thinking of Vaping Zone. Mm. Vaping yeah, Zone no. did have them, and yeah. now Bull City has them. And I I have a couple of FE flavors, and I have I have access to my SC flavors. So I test. As a matter of fact, I have some SC flavors here that I was given to test. Okay. Hey, yeah, help me test because I only have like four or five flavors. Yeah. I don't have that many FE, so I would have to order a couple of FE more to match because I don't have exactly the same of any of them. Both of them are in different directions. But, yeah, I will definitely help you test. JJ just confirmed it. She said FE, SC, and Express at Chef's are the same flavors. There you go. So, yeah. Interesting. I th I thought so. Who did I talk about this with? Because it was, I believe it was on one of the ELO forums. I think it was Koppel because I, I had a conspiracy theory going, but it was never, so I dropped it. But now that you're talking about it again, I would see, like if you compare the the names of the flavors mm -hmm. on both ones, they're pretty much the same. And even, yep. the, even the pictures, even the pictures on, I think, Bull City and... Vapors tech are almost the same. Unless well, this yeah. is a while ago. I'm not sure. People in chat, figure it out. I'll give you a bounty. I'll give you, I'll trade, I'll give you like turquoise and maize if you figure this out. I will Where are you fill your belly. Huh? Where are you getting that turquoise from? JJ already confirmed. It is what it is. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, think. so the blueberry definitely is, the mango is, and ah. so, yeah. Cool. So if you have Effie Blackberry, use that. It probably will be the same. Oh, I need to buy it. JJ, or not JJ, JW. What? You're next. I volunteer. Yeah, yeah. Huh? Hold on, I got it pulled up. She's ready so, to go. <laughs> I'm ready to go, but I, I thought Rin wanted to go second. Um, <laughs> That's okay. She can go after me. Anyhow, let's do it. So like Emily, except the opposite, I'm more of a candy person than I am a bakery person. But, and the picture inspired a candy and it inspired a bakery both. But I went with the bakery because it was just more tasty and it was fuller. And I'm not sure that my candy will be candy in the end or a juice. So I couldn't stop playing with your toys. Sorry, <laughs> I was like the drama. All I see are candies. Uh, anyways, um, so I went with a blueberry lemon cookie of sorts. Um, I did. Where are my notes? Did I write notes? I guess. Uh. I envision a lemonade Girl Scout cookie in a blueberry compote. Uh, I'm sorry, buttery lemon made Girl Scout cookies. Let me read what I wrote in a blueberry compote. Um, sweetness, sweetener isn't necessary in this because it's sweet enough. And I wouldn't go, if you do add sweetener, I wouldn't go past 0.5% because taste is very sweet without it. I believe that that sweetness is definitely coming from that lemonade cookie from CFA. I used that all the way up to 5%. So I know I used it kind of high, but it, it, I was trying to get the cookie out of it. It needed a little bit extra butter. It, it's not very buttery on its own. It's lemony and it's cookie-ish, um, but it needed some butter. It doesn't have, the cookie isn't like super strong cookie. So I needed to boost that cookie up. So I used 0.75% of Epe cookie to it because I also didn't want to change much of the flavor and I didn't want to add any more granulate. I, I, I just wanted to add a little extra crunch, but not, not 
change the overall flavor of the lemonade cookie. Lemonade cookie is pretty sweet on its own. It's very, it's lemony and it's a candied lemon flavor. Um, so I got the lemonade cookie, the butter, and the cookie in there. I used for the blueberry. I used blueberry muffin from Flavora because blueberry muffin is a is a nice bakery. It's not too bakery ish, but it has enough bakery in it that it helps both my cookie and my blueberry. And I used that at one point five percent. So I also used that a little higher than I normally would for the bakery aspect of it. And for kind of like the laying the bed down for the blueberries to lay on, um, I, of course, Flavor West Blueberry would be the candy that I would use to make a jammy blueberry, but it needed a little bit of tartness. So I used uh, TFA Blueberry Wild at 3%. This is not a fairy fried recipe. It actually only has one, two, three, four, five, six ingredients. So I want to hear shit, um, <laughs> but it's very tasty. It's good and it's very cookie. I would say that the days of steep is around three, but I guarantee you that the cookie will come out more on day seven. Interesting. It looks good. It's just a simple recipe. It was just one of those things where I was like, huh, blah, 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 dropped it in there. Then I made another one. Then I made another one. And I was yeah, like, which one turns out? And this one turned out the sweetest, most cookie-ish with a good balance between the blueberry and the lemon. Nice. Oh, before you even start, Emily, I have a question. I was, I was going, silence! The blueberry muffin, I was debating on testing it because I, I wasn't, I wasn't sure. I didn't smell enough bakery and I wasn't sure on the starting percentage for single flavor testing. Like I was, cause I'm like, cause my little sniffer test that I do, I what I'm like, maybe I can go a little bit higher or maybe I can go a little bit lower. I'm like, ah, I'm not going to risk it. I don't want to do like three or four different tests for this one flavor, but you I would said, go 2% for single flavor uh, testing, two to 3%. 3%? That's what I was going to say. I don't really use it at two or 3%. I don't get any muffin at all from blueberry muffin, but it's such a nice baked, deep blueberry flavor. It's Is really it good. Darn it? Mm -hmm. I'm going to have to mix this up because I have lemonade cookie and I have yet to use it. So I'm going to mix this up just to use it, that flavor. You know what's going to surprise you about that lemonade cookie? I guarantee you that there's a lot of cereal vapes out in the market that use that lemonade cookie instead of mm. a cereal background. Mm -hmm. When this you taste it, it's going gonna, it's gonna to make you think, hmm, I've this, this tastes like it would go with a cereal because now I want to use it with um raspberry blueberry and strawberry to see what it does you know oh yeah and would you now say I also like, a multi -purpose, like a multi-purpose flavor that you should have in your stash because you can use it in different applications and it works well i would say so i haven't i haven't played mm -hmm. with it much till i i've used it like once or twice before for lemonade or uh, you know and to adding body to a, a um when i'm making a cream but I've never used it like this in a bakery style. Um, and now that I used it, I'm like, hmm, I wonder what meringue will do with this. Hmm, this tastes like a cereal. If I added, if I add meringue to this mix, I would have a blueberry cereal. Interesting. I need, ooh, there's so many things I need to buy still. Well, this is, <laughs> this one's fairly cheap. So it's not like you're gonna, you know, end up with, um, it's something that you can't that you can't use you know what i mean or that you're gonna have to spend a whole lot of money on because i, I mean, won't feel like i sacrificed my morning coffee for nothing you can you can ha get a 30 mil and it'll last you a long time or you can get a 10 mil okay. for seventy five or two dollars whatever it is be full city sells it for it goes on the list there nice. you go this looks good um <clears throat> Mm. Okay, one thing though, I don't have blueberry wild. What blueberry? I know you hate questions like this. Everybody hates sub questions, but what blueberry would be the closest to blueberry wild? Um, I would say that you can use bilberry at point seven five percent instead. Okay. Okay. Just because the wild has that, that 
it has that little bit of a floral blueberry note and it has that that sourness in it so i mean i would say bilberry bilberry would be this the concentrated version of blueberry wild okay and i almost used bilberry but the only thing with bilberry is not as sweet so i would have had to use sweetener yeah okay cool awesome well this looks good and this is really simple for you very simple <laughs> i've been on a simple cake now Woo. nice even my other candy was only like four or five ingredients just bored. Throwing shit together. Okay, Ren or Lay. I Ren, I want to go last. Yeah, we'll save you for last because we <laughs> need the time. Thank you. <laughs> Troll. I didn't forget. I read the. I watched the replay to check my lipstick. Make sure I look fabulous. I I read. Ch I was re. I was watching the replay. The like the little chat. Y'all were trolling me. I'm not even gonna say nothing about my recipe. You hear me, Ren? The shade, the shade, the shade, the shade, the shade. The shade, the shade. Look, guys, if they thing. knock themselves out during the show with those damn fans. I was like, what? I was like, oh, y'all trolling me? Cause I'm trying to describe my damn recipe. Y'all don't even understand what I was going through. I was trying to help you out, but you don't get nothing. You don't get flavor notes from me, nothing. That's a lie too. That's a dang lie. Yeah, I know that's a lie. You can forget about that. Go ahead, Ren. It was just me. I, it was me doing the trolling. <laughs> the shame! The shame! Anyways, so um, mine, it, I, I tried a couple different versions. I did go a little bit more complex for some of them, but they just didn't turn out well. Um, I wanted to incorporate Blackberry, but as we were kind of talking about before, I think it's the blackberry and the blueberry that create like a grape flavor. And that's not really what I wanted. And it kind of tasted weird with the pineapple in it. So I stuck with blueberry as kind of like the base because there's a lot of blue in the picture. Plus I like blueberry and pineapple together. It's not something that I've seen a whole lot of. Um, so I wanted to do that. And then uh, I used Delosi blueberry because it's probably my favorite blueberry uh, and then I added the sugar loaf pineapple by vape train at a very small percentage just to kind of be in the background because even at a half a percent for me it was still pretty prominent and I wanted it to be in the background and then I added wonder flavors fluffy cake because I'm really liking that flavor recently I'm not big on bakery flavors or vapes but there's something about it that I really like. It's, I don't really get a whole lot of cake necessarily from it. I get more of like a powdered vanilla, almost like a frosting, but like with a body to it. So I figured it would kind of be nice in here to mellow out like the acidity and the blueberry and the pineapple. And then I added a half a percent of Delosi vanilla cream. It's kind of like, I guess it's supposed to be like a, an ice cream, I think. That's what the picture says, the little ice cream cone, um, to give another vanilla note, because I like blueberry and vanilla together. Um, mm -hmm. Again, to kind of smooth it out a little bit, because again, the pineapple, mainly the pineapple, gets really acidic. And I found that the acidity with the perfume notes of like a blueberry can kind of get funky if you don't smooth them out with something. So that's what I got. Um, other variations I used included blackberry. I omitted those. And then I did a version with sweet cream from Delosi as well, which turned it kind of into a yogurt, which was interesting. I, I have to single flavor test the sweet cream to see what it's supposed to taste like. But I don't know if it's certain combinations of the stuff together. But I turned it into a yogurt, which wasn't bad, but it just wasn't what I wanted. Um, so yeah, I ended up <laughs> doing like the reverse of these guys where I start basic and go on to be extra. Like I started extra and then just kind of like knocked stuff off that wasn't really fitting. So that's a good way to do it. You know, yeah. consolidate. Inside. I'm really salty though. I wanted to use a version with Wonder Flavors pineapple candy because I like that flavor a lot. But I cannot find it anywhere. <laughs> oh no. Yeah. What's that one like? I haven't tested that one yet. 
It's so good. It's like a powdery pineapple, which there is like a flavor. It's a e-juice from Illusion. I don't know if you guys have heard of Illusion. If you've been vaping a while, you might have, but it's A-H Illusion. Um, they're based out of Michigan and they make really good e-liquid. And one of my favorites from them is Stardust and it's a blueberry pineapple-ish thing. And that was kind of my inspiration for this. Um, where was I going with that? I have no idea. I lost it. <laughs> How did you lose it? Because I started talking about illusion and I brought them up for a reason, but now I don't remember what the reason was. Well, so you were saying that they would have one of your favorite juices. You were talking about your recipe and you were talking about the reason you wanted what did, to What did Emily say before I went into the tangent? Emily? Um uh, something about pineapple candy from wonder flavors oh yeah yeah yeah. that's why i wanted to use pineapple candy is because <laughs> i thought it would go well with that e-juice because if you look at the picture online it's like a blueberry like on top of like looks like granulated sugar so it's like almost like a candy so i wanted to use the pineapple candy for something similar but i could not find it anywhere i really need to get that uh sugar love pineapple yeah, JJ doesn't like it. She gets like a funkiness from it. Um, I forget what she said specifically, but something very unpleasant. I think she said like gasoline or something. <laughs> it was bad. I don't get that, thankfully. Um, I really like it. And with it so low, only a quarter percent, do, do you really get the, the pineapple or is it kind of like in my mixer, you're just using it to brighten up the blueberry? I get it, but I'm very sensitive to everything. Um, obviously, if like the general public mixes it this low, they're probably not going to pick that up. Um, mainly, I get a lot of the fluffy white cake, which is what I wanted. I actually was messing around with percentages as I tweaked it because um, I wanted them to be kind of balanced and I wanted it to be, I wanted the blueberry to be up front, but I didn't want it to be like overpowering everything. So I think I did a good job with that with the percentages how they are but again most people are going to have to increase my percentages because i mix very low yeah. yeah i was just thinking i'm like hmm, i wonder how doubling this whole thing would work out um again you have a blueberry that i don't have i just did blueberry for noted so i've got like 20 some blueberries and this is one i don't have so what's it like <laughs> the low sea blueberry yeah is it like kind of a a blueberry extra type generic blueberry or no it's very good it's the, the reason i like the blueberry this blueberry compared to other ones is it has a little bit of the skin to it and i know it sounds kind of gross per se but like it tastes more like the actual fruit like the entire fruit instead of just like the inside of a fruit or like a candied mm -hmm. version of blueberry which a lot of flavors are to me it's like the most authentic blueberry I've ever tried. Um, okay. It's a really, it's a really nice blueberry. It's like, it's natural. It's semi-sweet and, and tart, like, and it's bright, which is really good about it. And um, it's a, it's a, it's a lighter body, but it's a clean, smooth mouthfeel. It's not watery. Like, you know, when you try peaches, the peach flavors and they taste like watery and like, um, thin like tea like tea like where they just kind of like evaporate blueberry yeah. delosi isn't like that nice yeah so it's it a good it's a nice you. blueberry it hmm? sticks with the mix then <clears throat> yeah with the mix nice and sticky uh, not really <laughs> it just tastes like a real blueberry yeah it doesn't it's not sticky or syrupy maybe maybe there's a hint like when i when I tasted it, like there's like that hint of a like that raspberry type of finish, which could be like that skin, like that brightness. I don't know, uh, but it's not it's not like heavy artificial jammy candy, waxy or extractus like extract tea, but it's like natural. So it's it's nice. Yeah, okay. and if you buy, I need, um, I need to get some of those Delo C flavors just to taste take them out. If you if you do decide to get Delosi, I highly recommend just buying direct, mm -hmm. um, because the only place I've seen them is Vapor Supply, and 
they're a little bit pricey, especially when you tack on shipping on top of it. But if you buy direct from Delosi, they have like different, like they have like little teeny tiny samples too. If you just want to get a tiny one, I think they're like a dollar or at least they were when I bought them, but they might've been on sale. Um, but like my, my entire purchase and I bought a lot, like pretty much all their fruits was not that much at all. Um, so I would go direct from them. Just Yeah, I probably will. Over. I'll probably just pick them all up when I, when I pick them up, I'll probably pick them all up at the same time. And there are coupon codes if you look. And I think the first time you order, you get like 15% off or something like that. And there might be other ones. I'm not entirely sure. But yeah, I would definitely go direct for them. They got enough good flavors that it would justify buying from them. Like I've heard all their fruits are pretty solid. Have either of you tried Jungle Flavors Blueberry? No. Okay. Never mind then. All right. <laughs> that was quick. No. I love <laughs> fluffy white cake. So I need to get myself some the blueberry and chicken little pineapple. I want to mix this up because it looks really good. Yeah. Looks nice, good. nice. So should we do the bada bing Leilani? Bada bing. Grab your, your popcorn. Make sure you got a drink. <laughs> I, I'm not even. I'm not even gonna say anything. I'm just gonna. Re, I'm just gonna okay, read mine. <laughs> You're gonna make well, it. You. you stop I, being mean to Leilani. Stop being mean to me. Appreciate my commentary. Love her. Love her. Why don't you just accept me for who I am? A bright, vibrant <laughs> soul. Yeah, Leilani, read your recipe. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the shade, you know, the shade. That niceness sure was quick. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm sorry, there's a limit. <laughs> I hate all y'all. Okay. So I was inspired by um, the picture, like I said. Um, I was inspired by the, like, the contrasty colors, the texture, the vibrancy. And I recently got some new flavors in that I've been testing for the, the past couple of weeks. So what I see is like the, those bright kind of ultra ultramarine blues, kind of like those mossy brownish greens mixed in with golden yellows. And because there's so much texture, I'm like, I couldn't, I couldn't pretend like I didn't know this painting because when I had to take my praxis exam to get uh, to be uh, certified, I had to remember Van Gogh's painting. So I was like, oh, I know what this is, darn it. So he uses um, an impasto like a, 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 a technique where it's a thick layering um, of paint to create like texture and to create movement. So I wanted to do something very similar to that. I wanted there to be texture, uh, contrast. I wanted there to be some form like of expression and, and, and experimentation, because this is what this painting was about. It was his first attempt before um, the classic like Starry, Starry Night. Um, so with this one, he actually went out um, to paint by gaslight into in his, in his like quest to find style. So I was like, all right, I'm trying to find my style as a mixer. I'm trying to figure out things that I like and present them in a way that's fun. So with this one, I added, I wanted to make a matcha berry cream cookie. The end, thank you. Read my flavors, bye. The end. Thank you. Read my See, wasn't that short? Wasn't that short? Don't you so, like? It? So how did you see nuts in this picture? Ah, oh, because they're golden. See the gold and the yellows? Nuts are golden. Golden nuts. Golden nuts and butter. That's a great amount, too. If you're going to use beer nuts, 0.1%. It's awesome. Yeah, because I test nice flavor because they're salty. You know, you get that. Mm -hmm. Beer nuts. I single flavor tested it at like point point five percent, and it was it was like it's like a mixed nuts. Most people, most from what I read, people got peanuts. I got um like a tannin type of walnut, um almond, and a little bit of honey roasted peanuts, and it's very well balanced. I did get a little bit of that salt, and I thought that it would pair well with the um, almond cookie. And the um, 
Inawera cookie because I wanted a buttery rich cookie. Most people see lemony yellows. I, I love butter, I, all y'all know. So I saw butter. <laughs> I saw butter. I saw uh, bilberries and blueberries. And I, then saw, I, also, I saw butter too. I mean, mm. I really did. When everybody kept saying lemon, I was like, lemon and butter. I love butter. I was like, that is a, but and it's buttery and it's like, it's a thick painting. So I'm like, that will work well. And then I wanted to play with the tea flavors because I haven't, I haven't had many of the teas. And so I was like, this is a good, because I like matcha tea. The first time I tried matcha, I hated it. But as I started, because uh, my mom, she's like, it, it will uh, help you not to get cancer. Drink the green tea. <laughs> it's like, okay, I don't want to get cancer. So I wanted to play around with those flavors. And the green tea, um, the jade tea, um, acai tea and the matcha cream work really, really well together. The matcha cream is like a dense, um, no, after two weeks, it becomes more of like a fluffy, um, moderately dense cream with an authentic matcha flavor. Rin talked about it before because she was doubting it. And I was like, girl, I was like, you're going to be surprised. This smells like a nice, creamy, milky matcha. And I wanted that to be like the highlight to enhance it because with all the other flavors, it starts to dull down past 2%. It becomes more like buttery, creamy, heavy, and then matcha sits at the back. So the nice cush zone where it's still kind of prominent is at 1.5%. I paired that with the jade tea because the jade tea is like a, a bright mix of green tea, black tea, and I taste a little bit of red tea. And the acai tea I like from Flavora because it's it's a little bit, it's not, it's not a pure matcha. That's the one thing with the uh, ice eye tea from Flavor. It's like a mix between matcha and green tea. It's brighter, which is nice, but there's a little bit of that green grassy note. So I wanted that to complement everything and kind of bring the, the tea flavor that I wanted up top. There's enough of that creamy milky tone to the matcha cream to stand out against the rest of the flavors, which was nice. I didn't have, I, I didn't really have to add any additional creams because those that those highlights are super duper concentrated. Then to make my bilberry flavor, I paired uh, blueberry extra TPA, blueberry extra Capella, and then the bilberry ripe VTA, which I find really nice. It's very, it's a very authentic, like sweet tart bilberry. It's not really uh, like earthy, which I, which I come to like. And then at the base of like, so it's like a cookie, a cookie with like a matcha cream. And then like you take bilberries and you stuff them on top. So that's my recipe. That Is sounds that lovely, not? actually. It sounds different. It sounds like something that- That's what people say when they hate, when they look at like a menu and like, oh, that's different. <laughs> I, I ordered, I'm the one that'll order different and then be like, hmm, that's pretty hmm. good, actually. It's more disgusting than I thought. Not always. <laughs> Sometimes, because I'm, I'm also the same person, you know, as I say that, that I, if I go to a restaurant, I don't know, I will order the different thing on the menu. If I go to a restaurant, I know, I know what I like. I order the same exact thing every single time. So I'm, I'm one of those people. I'll try something different, but it has to be in a different place. So, and I, I don't, I'm not a fan of green tea. I'm not a fan of any of the tea at all. And I know that um, Rin likes um, the, which is the tea that you like, Rin? Acai. The, mm -hmm. the Acai. And you like the green teas. Yeah, I know. And you like that stuff straight. And I've tried it. And, I, and I, so I'll try anything that you guys put out there, especially when you guys talk about it. So I, I'll mix this simply because, no, I won't, because I don't have the uh, Helix, whatever. Helix, I lick, we all lick. I mean, that company. <laughs> I mean, you lick. <laughs> <laughs> whatever you want to call them. <laughs> but yeah, the, high, the high lick is, is really good because it's not. I lick. I mean, seriously, with that I name. Lick. I couldn't help. I, I was dying to be able to plug man there. <laughs> Girl, <laughs> that's all like I'm, tell in the gutter. I'm telling you right now, shipping is not cheap for Hylic. It's like $18 because it's FedEx three to five day. 
I can tell you right now that that's not going on my shopping. I'm, I'm telling you, you have you have to be willing to invest in these flavors and and trust that they taste good. What I would recommend is that if you're very very interested and you like teas, try this. The Flavora teas are good. Their green tea is too floral for me. That's the only problem. Like I I don't Even mind. Tea? Huh? Even with steep, it still stays floral for you because I found that. Once I steeped it, it some of that mellowed out. Remember, I'm sensitive to potpourri. It mellows out, but it's still there. It's not mellow enough. With the jade tea, um, the matcha cream, those are really, really subtle, if any, floral. Like I can't, I, if I can't detect it, it's it's a good one for me. If I'm searching for floral, then I'll use the uh, green tea. Flavor. Green tea's black tea is nice. The red tea is nice. It's, but I needed that. I needed that green. So I was on the hunt for other green teas. You know what I mean? And yeah. the J the J tea is like a, a mix. They're the Hylic Hylic has their own green tea. The Hylic green tea, I don't know what they did to it. It's good, but they added like um like a cooling effect. There's like a like a minty, it's not like WS23, which by the way. Oh, homeboy, your recipe is solid. That stuff tastes, that tastes bomb. Um, Daniel K. Boom, what, his name is, um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to link it, like um, an Anodyne's Fruit Fix E-Liquid Recipe. Yeah. The Black Currant Fuji Apple with the WS23. That, I mean, it's, ref it's refreshing and it's fruity. But the green tea, Hylic, it's refreshing, but it's not like it, there's that mint aftertaste that I don't like. With his recipe, I don't taste that like minty thing. But that's the only warning I would say with the um, Hylic green tea. But yeah, that's that. So what I want to say just real quick is that I love that you use Vape Train Bilberry Ripe. And I think more people need to use Vape Train Bilberry Ripe because to me, it's such a perfect, deep, sweet, like a blueberry jam almost flavor. I just, it's one, it's my new favorite blueberry so far. And yeah, I, uh, I like it because it's, it's, um, where are my notes? Where are my notes? It's, it's moderately sweet. It's natural. Um, it's juicy and it's a dark, it has a clean, and the thing is, it has like a clean, smooth mouthfeel. It's not too watery either. And um, it's a nice, and it's not like the other bilberries that are, that, that get very earthy and almost dry. Um, so that's why I enjoy that. And I've had, oh, I'm telling you people in chat, finding pairings for blueberries is just as hard as finding pair, like a pairings for peaches. That's the only part because I remember I was traumatized from like the second time I was on the show and I was trying to make that blueberry ice cream. Darn, um, what's her well, name? Because blueberry goes with pineapple, it goes with orange, it goes with lemon, it goes with. But finding chocolate. like finding pairings to make like the perfect blueberry, like your perfect version of blueberry, is hard because there's so many different blur uh, That's blueberries. Just flavor West blueberry for me, <laughs> girl. <laughs> Silence. I need to make my own. I need to try my own. But the the three these three pairings I find work really nicely together. And the blueberry in this recipe just kind of nestles into the green tea. It's not too um, assaulting to the green tea. It's a it's a compliment. So I, I I enjoy it. But enough about me. Let's talk about y'all. What's going on, chat? Recipes. What's going on? There was someone who who mixed up uh, the pro the profile. Um, let me see if I can get it real quick here. They're just talking about licking. Yeah, uh, Jan Jewel. Jan Jewel makes made a mix with this profile, and James, I don't know if you want to give me if you if you want me to give you the link or you just want me to share it. Um, but she did. It's a French name, and I, I don't, I'm going to butcher this pronouncing, but it's Nuit Etoile Sur la Ronde. Um, and she used Liquid Barn Blue Raspberry at 4%, Custard Pie, 
by FA at 1.25%. Capella's Juicy Lemon at 1.5%. Uh, Wonder Flavors Lemon Lime Soda at 1.75%. FA Raspberry at 1%. Um, Rec, is that uh, Recca Flavors? Sparkling Mango at 1%. Sparkling Wine by Inawera at 1.75%, uh, 0.25% Super Sweet, 0.75% Vienna Cream, and then 2.25% Wine Champagne. So this lemon berry champagne type of mix, I thought was really an interesting take on it. And you know what? For real, the recipe does inspire wine because in most wine, in most art galleries, they serve wine or champagne. So that would have, that, that makes a lot of sense why she would have gone with that. Yeah, it looks really, and I love the, there's a lot of flavors here that I haven't tried. Um, but the ones on here that I have tried, I, I've liked. And so I can see where this, this could be pretty good. Um, I don't have any Rekka flavors, so that sparkling mango, I have no clue. Have any of you guys tried that one? No, I don't, I don't have any Rekkas. Where, where are they from? You can get them at Chef's. There's a few at Chef's. I think uh, Rin had gave me their aloe, I believe so. I was looking for aloe. I was looking for aloe. Um, and I thought that there was somebody else that made an aloe, and I can't find it. I thought it was in Awera. Hylic makes aloe. If you want to pay eighteen dollars for shipping, it's going to be your prized possession. You know where it does make Ello? Yeah, I was looking for it because somebody brought it up and said it was good. So yeah, they said it was watery. So I was looking it up too, and I haven't been able to find it. But uh, I re I reckon maybe they're at Chefs. I'll, I haven't looked there. Don't worry, they'll reformulate it. I know, but I need to get it before that happens. <laughs> I need to get at thirty mil. And then you no, love it and you can't get it no more. It's okay. I just won't use it anymore. Shade. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Rekka is from Malaysia, says Wade Nixon. Thank you. I'd forgotten about that. They're a Malaysian flavor. Got it. Um, I, I like their flavor. I like their description, their notes, because I was I was curious about what was different about because I never bought the custard pie. I only have the custard premium FA, but they say in their notes, custard pie. Here, let me let me get my uh, teacher reading voice. Hello, children. Custard pie and Vienna are the darkness, and together with blue raspberry and barrel, the night turns blue. Sparkling mango wreck gives a little sweet fruit and very little sense of cooling. It's cold outside. <laughs> All the others turn on the stars in the sky and keep the juice light and sparkling. Hmm, wondering maybe a drop or two of anise, F.A.? No. And as it's steep, I see taste. The super sweet is not needed. I could go on and on, but I like how they write stuff. Where the hell did you get that? It's on their, it's, uh, their, it's on, uh, if you go, to, if you click on their recipe, it's under their notes. Sounds like flavor. Tell you exactly what you're supposed to taste as you're vaping. Got it. <laughs> Very cool. Well, thanks for playing along, Jan. We always love seeing what other people come up with. Thank you. If I have more of these flavors, I'd try this. Well, should we um, give them a sneak peek of next week's picture? Yeah, I think so. I think that would be great. This is going to be really interesting. Um, it's like a, a drink or a beverage, a tea, if you will, maybe. I think what's awesome about this picture is that there's so much going on that you can take it in, in whatever you know direction you want. Do you want to make it a tea? Do you want to make it like a sangria? Do you want to make it, you know, like... Um, strawberry heavy or is there maybe deeper berries in there or did you want to focus on the lemon that you see so yeah I, I love the looks of it i mean yeah. i love the looks of it. It, it it might not be a candy but it'll suffice for now although <laughs> i am requesting that somebody post some candies and emily had to say you know we have candies there i just don't <laughs> like them. Take some more bring us some more get yeah. some candies out there jen's on a candy cake you should have picked some candy for 
our pictures. But, uh, but there was no, there wasn't my kind of candies. I can't right, well, put guys, kind of put on there. <laughs> in, our, in our Facebook, so Jen can be happy with some candies. Yeah. <laughs> you just have to mix up mine then to tide you over. Yeah. The Blackberry. <laughs> I, I probably will. I more than likely will mix yours. Because I, I am on a candy kick right now. I don't know what it is. I think I over vape bakeries and, and <laughs> yeah, you just can't and, have them. um the thick creams now in the winter that I think I'm done with that. And and it this might only last a week or two and then I'll go <laughs> back to them. But right now I'm done. I just need something sweet and delicious and super sweet super candy and and because i'm vaping candies you know i always tank everything but my tank cannot keep up with candies because it gets dirty so fast so i i'm on a dripper cake right now too while i'm at it might as well wow. because i'm on a candy kick so i gotta be able to change my cotton and stuff so i'm super anal about crap i built some really cool coils last night too i did some braided shit last night just my head, I, and and I don't have anything to hold it. You know how everybody, most builders have this little wooden thing that holds their stuff. I had my husband holding the damn other end. He's such a trooper. I oh. wrapped it around the thing and gave it to him. I said, here, hold on to this and hold it tight. And <laughs> as I was braiding. <laughs> and in the middle of braiding it, I started laughing. I looked up at him. I said, you're so funny. You entertain me. I That's mean, teamwork. Cannot believe you're actually sitting there holding that. Because if you'd have told me to hold something for you, I'd have been like, "No, hold your own shit." <laughs> Aww, that's love. He loves you. Yeah, yeah. One side is love. Speaking of oh, the other day, you know, he's still smoking. The other day, he was at a friend's house and he was driving my car, and his he got out of the car to smoke a cigarette. And his friend says, "Why are you getting out of the car to smoke a cigarette?" And he says, "Because I don't want to have to kill my wife when I get home, and if I smoke in her car." <laughs> She's going to drive me nuts and I have to kill her. <laughs> well, speaking of love and, and um, people, human beings, uh, thank you, people in chat. I think we're done. <laughs> I think we are, too. Thank you for that, Leilani. Well, you know, I try to do as smooth as transitions as I possibly can while I'm on the show. <laughs> so speaking of nothing, like, bye. <laughs> don't, you, don't you shave me! Don't you shave me, girl! Oh, God. Yeah, you, battle the fans. Did, what are we going to do? Anyway... So thank you to Bull City Flavors. Go check them out. They have the new Wonder Flavors available. We also have a coupon code for 6% off. If you want to use that, it's Mix In Vixens. Uh, thank you to Isig Express and Flavora. All the flavors. And go check out Wayne, DIY or Die. He has a great YouTube channel and a website. Yes, and thank you for coming. Hit like, subscribe, hit that bell, bring a friend. If you All don't that. have friends, then make new friends. Invite them anyways. <laughs> Invite those people that don't like you. <laughs> Ten minutes of their life, they'll never get <laughs> back. <laughs> that's right. That's what I was talking about. Time six. <laughs> 60 minutes. Thank you for coming. Please subscribe if you haven't already, if you enjoyed the content. We're chill here. We have fun. Yes. See you next week, guys. Bye.